Now let me see a G City girl act up. If you wanna see me drop dead, bring it back up. You wanna smash her? I'ma need some racks, bruh. That's why I'm a pretty bitch. This the anthem, and if it ain't about the money, then it doesn't matter. Let's just go on with the narrative of I hope George Keith in the middle of the night. Ellie had a flight to New York, and we already had it. And we always fly home pretty much once a month, every three weeks. However, when we were there scheduled every two weeks, I don't really know. I knew for sure it was like once a month she flew home to see her parents. I mean, her family, her sister, and her mom, and then her next. So it was already a flight going out to New York. She mentioned that um, she wanted to keep her YouTube channel. I guess it's like a big break thing, like key that I was like, not trying to fix that because it wasn't that. It was. It, it is that deep, but I just wanted to clear up the fact that I didn't like magically help somebody because they were being abused. I helped her escape because she, it quote escape um, or like leave or figure out what was the best time for her to leave. Um, and I just wanted to clear up the fact that I didn't like magically help somebody because they were being abused. I helped her escape because it quote escape or like leave or figure out what was the best time for her to leave because she didn't want him to take her YouTube channel. She told me that when he told her that if they break up, then she would pretty much leave her channel. Like, it's not, he feels like it was something that was tied to him, and it's not something that was, like, her own idea or her own. Wait, life. so how was he going to take her YouTube channel? Like, I mean, you know, like, if she created, I mean, like, she started the YouTube channel, well, he was going to try to, um, like, make her character out to be something poor where people are unsubscribe or did he have access to her password or something? I'm not understanding. Um, yes, I think he made her channel. Um, and helped set it up and do like some monetization process and stuff um, for her. So she, yeah, I don't know if it was just like the whole computer was on, um, but like I know he had access to her YouTube and then she also had access to her YouTube. So she felt like she wanted to leave him and leave with her channel. Like, for the first initial thing that she brought to me, uh, which was pretty quick, like, the first time I met her, she seemed, like, happy about the relationship, and then, like, the second time we actually, like, sat down and talked, and we were talking for those hours, she pretty much was just like, yeah, this is not really the best, or this is not really the best. I'm like, oh, okay, that was, like, I don't know, not kind of like a new but I was just like, all right, cool. Um, and then, like, later down the line, it was just, like, each time we were kind of making kind of like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. Um, but I, when I leave, I want to leave with my channel. So I was just like, okay. So um, somebody asked, uh, right, I want to know, does she know the guy in the building? Um, the oh, okay, I'm sorry. Look, I'm up here just like... <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, but the only reason why Ellie actually... So I saw on her channel that she did a story time about that situation. Um, the only reason why, she, and then she kind of like left me out. Um, I don't know if that was just to be messy or like what was that about, but it was just strange because it was just like, you wouldn't have even met that guy that wasn't for me. Um, the guy and the brother and I are actually like, you know, neighbor friends, so like associates that way. Um, and he only approached us because I was sitting next to Ellie at the pool. Like it wasn't how she was making it seem like he just walked up and he wanted to hang out with them, the guy. And she actually texted me. It's like, it's a whole little thing. So it's like, she, she tells bits and pieces and it's, I don't know, she just leaves a lot out to make it sound or, I don't know, it just always gets twisted into its own little thing, but... You talk about the guy that she was talking, referring to that knew Dalvin, that was like, you know, the gay guy, right? She was thinking something about she met the guy. If the guy met, the guy, she was saying the guy approached her because of her two gay friends. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you saying. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, in regards to details about the actual, actual story, I'm not going to really get into that because I feel like that's like a, a separate sector. Um. Um, and then regardless of, like, why she wanted to drop it, didn't want to drop it, I feel like, um, I'm not saying anything in that video she said was true, but I know the first part was already a lie, um, in regards to how she even met the guy, that's, that's not true, she met the guy because he walked up and he knew me and he and I had a friendship, um, which I had text messages for her saying, like, thank you so much for 
Somebody said something about the STD. Do you know anything about that? With yeah. Dalvin. Huh? Ellie yeah, had mentioned, well, she mentioned, me. yeah. Yeah, she came to me about it, and she pretty much said she was pretty open about um, everything. She never once said that he got an STD from a guy, though. I know she was kind of running with the story that the STD was from a guy, but when she told me about the STD, and she went pretty far into detail about it, she didn't tell me that he got it from a guy. Do you know what STD it was? I can't remember the name, so I don't want to, like, I genuinely can't remember the name, so I don't want to repeat. But that was true about the STD. Um, it, but she didn't contract it, right? No, she did not. Who told you they were in a open relationship? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I don't mind that part. Um, I would tell my Dalvin if they were in an open relationship. Dalvin? Yeah. But, but Ellie went along with this when you met her, right, as far as the open relationship is concerned. She wasn't, like, she didn't tell you on the side, hey, Deja, we not really in the open. Because you said, like, you... Yeah, that's that. truth about it not being it was being a, 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 a just for content purposes with Dalvin for the for us to believe they saying can you give them a play by play of what happened at the pool that's yeah. what they asked so Um, there might be a new 
term, like go with your move, but it just pretty much like go with your plan. Because um, for you to tell your friend on the front end before you even met me that, oh, don't worry, I have a plan, that's strange. And why would you even mention that to him? And I feel like that's your childhood friend. He has no reason to lie on you. And then on the back end, now that I'm telling you, oh, don't go on YouTube and so like, I'm like, okay, well, look, you got off things, you got your channel, let it be, don't go on YouTube with the who I rap shit, and then you get on there and you keep driving it, then it's like, okay, well, you really do have a plan, because if your friend's saying it, and then the way you're carrying it out, and then even when she was carrying it out, I'm kind of like, okay, this is weird, why is she posting it, like, just like get over this and, and start doing just regular content or is she gonna like do you think this is gonna be an ongoing thing for her um i think that'll make a breakthrough hard in the video and she's gonna like you know, she really wants to do a tell all like i, I like i told him that i was just like when he sent me the text messages that she said i was like you know, whatever i say whatever she says like like, I'll hold my video off for a little bit, but whatever anyone says, she's going to use it because she just wants to do a tell-all on you. I think she likes the attention that she gets. I think she likes, from this situation in particular, I think she likes the rally behind her sympathy, so she's going to milk it. Like, I, I know for a fact she is, but like, Oh, my God. This is just, like, I just don't know. Um... Well, I mean, you know, I just hope if Ellie come out, Ellie, if you listening in the bushes, if Do you know why Ellie feels some type of way about Asia since she's doing videos with Alvin? So at the end of Ellie's breakup video, she gave a shout out. She was like, there are two girls that helped her through all of this the most, which she gave a shout out to me in Asia. Um, and... What I found out on the back end is that Asia wasn't really a friend of hers. Um, and then on my part, like I said, there were things that happened between me and Ellie. Ellie and I separately from their relationship that made me shy away from Ellie. So I think Ellie's kind of just like, oh, you guys were there for me. Um, but then y'all also still want to be his friend. So I think Ellie was just more so looking for both of us to kind of choose a side. But I didn't wait for like a side. Taking a side was necessary because I was friends with both of them. I'm all I cannot fuck with you, baby. You right. You are not for me. Goodbye. You ain't shit to me. I feel like you can't tell one piece of the story and not tell all of the story because right now all it's doing is just creating more questions for you guys. Because I feel like that's kind of why the phone call is still going on. It's just because I showed a piece of it and then you guys want to know the whole thing because it's like, oh, this doesn't make sense without you telling us about all this other stuff. Which is not the reason why I just refrain from saying it without telling the whole thing. But the reason why I didn't come on here to say a few things is just because I have other businesses and I deal with clientele. And Um, I have not, I, well, correction, I've not met the goal, of course. Um, I don't really care to meet her. So, after Ellie left that channel, which I don't think she posted this, but she posts pretty much everything else, she um, blocked Delvin, messaged Delvin, and pretty much told him, um, if your friends, oh, Deja included, speaks on me, like, I'm gonna pretty much say, like, everything that you did to me in the relationship and take it off to the internet. I don't, I, and I asked him, I was like, why? Well, first, I addressed the message, and I said, LOL, in all caps, I said, She's no bully. She's not going to tell me what to do on my channel or anywhere else. I was like, she, she might have control. I might have control over you speaking to with him, but she doesn't have control over me. So he was saying out of respect for he and I's friendship, so he doesn't have to deal with it. And he, I don't know, like, why or why not? That's the question for Delvin. That's not a question for me because I don't, I don't know them when they were living in the house. I don't know them when they were, before they pretty much came to that building. Like, I